Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to do some timed messages. These aren't the kind of timed messages you would get with Nightbot or some other kind of bot where you pick an arbitrary time and then these messages that you want to share with your viewers end up just spamming your chat and filling it all up. Instead, we're going to use StreamerBot to make more of a rotating timed message. So they take their turn instead. So over in StreamerBot, the first thing you're going to want to do is create your messages. Now, I don't know how many you have. You may have more than me. You may have less. I have five. I have Discord, Merch, Music, Sound Effects, and YouTube. So one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to create your first message. Mine was Discord. You would simply right-click, add, name your message or name your action and then you would group it if you want to group it and then you would create it and it would be here and then you would go to your timed actions my timed action is a twitch message so i right click i go to twitch i would go to chat and go to send message to channel if you are doing this on youtube you would simply go to youtube and hit send message to channel but since i'm on twitch this will be where i go and after i click send message to channel it's going to make one of these and then you can select if you want your bot or your own broadcaster account to post the message my message is feel free to join the discord some more information and then my discord link so i'll hit ok now i had four more of these to make merch music sound effects and youtube so i made those how i wanted to make them and that's my five messages the time to chat is how we're going to make all of this work now on my messages you will notice i have triggers you can ignore those those are separate triggers so i can manually make these messages happen without this time chat if i'm wanting to bring them up on my own you do not need to have this yours will be blank and that is fine i will create another time to chat so that way you can follow along as I make this action group. So I will add this to my timed messages and hit OK. Now one of the first things you're going to want to do is right click, go to core, go to globals and you're going to go to global get. On global get you're going to leave source as global, uncheck persisted, variable name is going to be chat commands destination value is going to be global underscore chat commands your default value is zero that'll make sense in a little bit you will hit okay next you're going to want to go to core back to globals and you're going to get global set under global set leave destination is global uncheck persisted variable name is going to be chat commands you're going to change argument to increment and you're going to select the number one so now what we have so far is we're telling this that our default value is zero and every time an action happens we want to increase it by one now is where we will put our messages so we will right click go to core logic and you will select if else under variable you will type your global underscore chat commands you will leave it under equals you will make value zero and then you will do your first action see our first action is discord so i will select that and then i will change the then to break so we are saying that we want our global chat commands when it equals zero to do this action and then it's going to take a break okay okay now Every time an action happens, it's going to increase by one. So now we need to make another one. So we're going to right click and duplicate so you don't have to retype all of that. Now this is all here, but you will change your value to one. And you will change your action to your next action. Mine is merch. You will leave it on break and hit OK. And then we will duplicate another. We will change that value to the next. And then we will change it. To the next leave it on break we are going to duplicate one more time change it up one again go to my next sound effects leave it on break this time whenever we duplicate and make our last command again you may only have two or three i have five so this will be my fifth one i know it says four but we started on zero so we have zero one two three four which is five altogether i will go to youtube that's my last one this time on my last message i'm going to select continue instead of break 
hit OK. For our last sub action, we're going to right click, go to core, go to globals. We're going to go to set. You're going to uncheck persisted under variable name. You're going to put in chat commands. You're going to change argument to value and you're going to select zero. If we go over this, we have said that with a value of zero, it will increase by one. On zero, we do discord. On one, merch. Two, music. Three, SFX. Four, YouTube. After that, it will continue and change chat commands back to zero. And it's basically going to start this all over again. So now we have everything built that we need. Now we just need a trigger. You can go up to your trigger, right click, core, timed actions. Now I have some other timed actions. You may or may not, but to make one for this, you will hit create timer. I will name this timer test, and then I'm going to make interval every five seconds. Now that's just to show you guys how this works. You will obviously want a much higher rate of time before it pops up every message. I usually use 900 seconds. That's 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes, it will show one of these. Um, you may want more or less time, but just put whatever time you want here. Okay, I will select OK. Then we're going to select OK to create the timer. Then I will come over to my OBS. I will show you in my Twitch browser window how every five seconds, a new one of those messages pops up. And to reiterate, if you had this set at a larger time frame, then this would only pop up at those time frames. Like I said, mine is every 15 minutes. I do have an extra tip for you guys. If you do have a YouTube link in your Twitch chats, then what you can do, let's wait for one of my YouTube links to pop up here, should be the next one. What you can do is whenever I click this, it will go in and it will ask people if they want to subscribe. So that way, instead of just going to my channel and showing them my channel, one of the things they're met with is a window just offering them to subscribe. They can hit cancel and go in anyways, but that does help a subscriber count if that's something you're interested in. So to do that, what you will need to do is you will go to your YouTube channel and you will get your entire YouTube URL. So in my message, I have my entire YouTube URL right here. That is it. Now to make that window pop up, all you need to do is at the end of your URL, you need to add a question mark, sub, underscore, confirmation equals one. When you add that to the end of your URL, you are telling it to add that little pop-up window. So I add that to mine, I click OK. Now, whenever that message pops up in my OBS, I can simply click it. And if anybody clicks it, then what will happen is it will take them once again to that window where you get the pop-up asking people if they would like to subscribe since they're at your YouTube channel. I hope this helped anybody who needed help with it. I know that I definitely like having a rotating timed message in my chat rather than just having all kinds of messages on their own time spamming my chat. Like I've said before, StreamerBot is still relatively new. Uh, there's still a lot to learn with it. So if you find yourself in an unusual situation that you need help with, the answer is probably buried in a 30 minute video by one of these content creators that release larger videos. So it's harder to find a video specifically about your issue without having to watch something longer. I hope this video helped. If you are somebody dealing with the timed messages that were just spamming your chat, I definitely like having more of a rotating message that takes turns giving people the information that I want them to see without having to spam my chat. Another application this can be used for is if you have ever watched a stream where every time somebody subs, the sub notifications are different, or if somebody raids and every time somebody raids during the stream, it's different raid animations every time, you can use this same thing for that. This was just used for timed messages. You can still make this exact same list and and if you just build different sub notifications, then where you added the messages as the actions, you would just simply add those sub alert actions as the actions. And then under trigger, instead of timed action, you would go and make it to where a raid triggered it or a sub triggered it. 
that kind of thing. So this doesn't just have to be used for timed messages. You can use it to change up your alerts every time an alert happens and it will just circle back around and start on the first one all over again. Like I said before, StreamerBot is still a relatively new program. It's kind of difficult if you have a unique situation to find an answer to something. So I'm really trying to put out videos on specific little subjects that people may have trouble finding. So if you have a situation that you can't figure out, leave it in the comments. I will definitely do my best to help out. Other than that, I hope you guys are all doing well and I will see you in the next one.